Today, I'm going to show you how to place text behind objects in After Effects. Let's dive straight in. I have a clip of Courtney here walking. To add text behind her, the easiest method is to use the Roto Brush tool. Here's how to do it. Duplicate your clip by highlighting it and pressing Ctrl plus D. Select the Roto Brush tool, find it in the toolbar and click on it. Then double click on the duplicated video layer to open it in a new window. With the Roto Brush selected, your cursor will turn into a green circle with a plus sign. Click and drag over the subject, in my case Courtney, to highlight her in purple. This indicates After Effects is creating a mask. Add any extra areas you miss by left-clicking and dragging. Resize and exclude areas. To resize the brush, hold Ctrl and drag up or down. To exclude areas, hold Alt or Window button on PC and click. Just going to clean up the mask by deselecting this small area here. While I'm doing that, it would be awesome if you could hit that like button on this video for me. Next, animate the mask. Press spacebar to preview and watch the selection follow the subject. Adjust as needed. Next, freeze the mask. Once you're satisfied with the mask, click the freeze icon to finalize it. Depending on the length of your clip, this may take some time for your computer to track. Go back to the composition view. Now, you have your original footage as the background and the isolated object on top. Select the type tool, add your text. I'm going to type subscribe because, well, why not? I'm just going to move the text to the top two thirds of the clip. That's the sweet spot for me. And then sandwich that text layer between the two clips like so. When you play the video, the text will appear behind the subject. If you have any issues with the mask, you can tweak the feather, contrast and shift edge settings in the effects control tab. And that's it. You've successfully placed text behind an object in After Effects. Thanks for watching and happy editing.